So, me and Professor X are here at Weird Civil Warehouse again. I'm gonna check it out. It's a scuzz scuzzy thing in the bob. That just looks so old. Wow, so you're a subscriber. Yep. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never yeah. been back here. Whoa. There's all the back area. Oh, those monitors are freaking yeah. cool. Wow. That is so cool. Uh, the, the Electro Home, I have um, the one in my, you know, my race driving arcade machine that I have, that old yeah. one? That they use as an Electro Home oh, model. Are? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know why I remember that, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, there's so much stuff over there. Yeah. Up, like, never really ends up in the store, you know, because we get people that come in here and just look, you know, look it up in the back. Yeah. So, so is, is this stuff mostly sold on, like, online or just collected? No, uh, this stuff is just here because uh, if people ask for it, we'll bring them back here. And oh. They can see it. I had no idea yeah. about that. Usually this stuff we don't put out there because uh, a lot of this stuff, really like this consoles and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> Are there like prices on these um, yet? Or? You kind of negotiate, you know. Yeah. Wow. That is so tiny. Is that a VGA connection? Uh. Uh, looks. Yeah, it is a VGA yeah, connection. Looks like it is monochrome. Yeah. What? That's so tiny. 1988. I, I think I'd like to buy that. Like fifteen dollars would that be? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You gotta add this. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll hold on. Prices. I'll hold on to it. I'll hold on to it. Oh my I god. I don't really do prices. This is this is so freaking cool. So 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 most of the the actual main business is not the storefront. It's the junk, right? Uh, the junk and then our eBay. Mm. This is so freaking cool. We're working all the stuff right here. That looks pretty That's pretty cool. Of, yeah. So do you, do you enjoy the job here? Do you get, uh, play with yeah, a lot of jobs? I've been working here for a long time. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is so cool. Do you guys mess with like collecting gold and stuff like that? Uh, we, we, we do recycle. So. Oh, nice. This is a lot of cool chips. Oh, really? I've never seen a Finium Pro before. Yeah. That is so cool. Could these be bought? Uh, yeah, but I mean, pretty much they're like all scrap right here. So I mean, I, I don't know if they want to sell them. Oh, okay. Cause I, so I, I'm actually working on like, you know, I, I have well the tiny shitty house in Illinois. Um, yeah, we're, we're working on making the attic into a gaming room. Oh and, yeah. And I'm wanting to put motherboards all uh, as, as wallpaper on the walls. So it'll be like an entire wall of motherboards. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, I'd be a project, I oh, man, this, is, this Hey, I mean, we do have scrap motherboards when, you know. Well, I, I have a bunch of motherboards, like old 286 ones that I have ever, ever since I was a kid. Uh, I used to live in Panama, Illinois, and I had my walls covered in motherboards. So I have oh, most yeah, of those oh, still, wow. yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean we, we do get some people sometimes here that want to buy scrap from us. You know, yeah. They do projects and stuff. Oh, my God, all the heat sinks. This is so cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I've been kind of looking at a bunch of heat sinks. Because. Uh, I'm friends with some people at other recycling centers, so I have seen ones this this full. But that definitely is a lot of. That's a lot of mother, uh, hard drives, whatever. I'm, I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. I mean, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you here before. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had the chance to. I mean, I'm always here back and forth, but I've yeah. never really. Are there are, are are there other cool stuff that way? Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. I I trust your opinion because. Yeah. Oh, these uh are 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 these com computer uh, from like cars and stuff like that? Yeah, it is. They're nice. The computer. It's a shame they're not, because I imagine they're all different, so that you can't really swap them out. 
Which is a real shame because. No, yeah, and then yeah. these seem to be like from like German cars. So yeah. They come out of. Well, oh. Look at that, that one is right. They probably come out. Oh, yeah, Volvo. Or stuff like that. This is so cool. <gasps> I got anodized heat sinks. Yep. Could some of these be bought? No, I'm, I'm a sucker for anodized heat sinks. Okay. Okay. Tell you a price for it. I mean, yeah, I was thinking like a dollar a piece or something like that. I don't know if it makes sense. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I'll talk to. I'll talk to. I can't to, take the price. Yeah. I'll, they, they can I'll talk to whoever's in charge of that. I think I shall stop recording and record a few. Uh, uh, gather a few. This is so cool. So how long have you been working here? Forever. Wow. That oh, is a, that is a long time. 1982. <laughs> 1982? Yeah. Wow. So you've My been here. And I started it. You, you, oh, you see so you own this? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, so we, we got into it because we were into electronics a lot, and yeah. we used to like to um, go to the surplus stores and find little gadgets. And that things. is so cool. I, I would shake your hand if I, yeah. <laughs> if I was, <laughs> didn't have my hands full of so stuff. We, we just, we loved it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Weekends after work, we'd always go and look for stuff at the scrap places and buy it by the pound, and then we'd take it home and repair them. Yeah, this is so cool. I've been, I've been, I've been, well, sorry, I've been cleaning up my basement and wanting to make a, like a, I want to set up all my collections of old computer equipment. Like I have an original IBM PC and Apple Lisa and stuff like that. And I want to set that all up so I can have like, I can play games on them or whatever. And so I've been still kind of looking for parts for them to oh, finally yeah. like finish them off. Well, this is the place. You'll yeah. We, we love yeah. that stuff too, so we save them and we get them out there in front of the people. One quick question, would you happen to have just like a box of a bunch of old ISA cards, like 8-bit ISA cards, or, or would they I be out really there? We have a box of them, but we get them daily and we, we usually put them out in the store. Oh, okay. Okay, so they would and be then, out there. Uh, people will buy them out though, but um, I, we, do, we do get them, you know, okay. if you need them specifically, yeah. we can throw them in a box and come back and get them. So, so, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of... Like this is like circuit boards that we've done for the we've taken out. That is so cool. I'm I'm a, so I'm a big stuff, fan of. We take the we get the gold off of it. Mm -hmm. You know we do the surface gold. Is there a good amount on that? Yeah, this one has a lot. See, it's, oh, nice. and it's pretty thick. Oh, so yeah. so it actually is pretty thick. I, I didn't know yeah. if like it maybe it was like an only a few atoms thick or something and like that. These have a lot of gold in them. The connectors have. A lot oh of gold. yeah. And so like over time, like this kind of stuff. See all the. When you look mm -hmm. that way, yeah. you see how much is covered. That's almost and like a probe board thing. Yeah, it's some kind of a part of a tester. That is so cool. I mean, they oh, are. These, these are all pretty much works of art. Yeah. Oh, neat. And these are the old style um, connectors and. Is it S100 or something like that? Uh, no, that's not S100. That's a oh. 100, 100 pin kind of. Oh, S100. okay. But, I've uh, never actually seen it this looks in like person. This standard so. bus to me. From like an oscilloscope or something like that? It came out of something. Uh, what does it say? It's an augit board. Augit? That uh, looks weird. I don't recognize it. No, me it's neither. It's probably custom. Yeah. This probably is so cool. Probably out of test equipment or something. Yeah, yeah. Could be an HP test board. That's so cool. There's a lot of interesting stuff. <laughs> and... Oh wow, that is so cool. So were these called pogo pins? Yeah. Oh, wow, they're pointy too. I've never seen them like that. Yeah, and so they they mount them down, and then it what it does is it touches on the like a board will be pressed down onto mm -hmm. it to make the connection, and then. And I, I guess these probably have like shielding around the wires. This is just like Teflon. Okay. Covered. Oh wow, that is so weird. <laughs> This is so cool. But, I mean, this thing must cost a fortune. Oh yeah, probably, probably cost probably cost like $10,000 to make well, or something probably. like that. <laughs> With engineering and everything mm -hmm. and then just to make it, you know, yeah. make sure it's right. Well, that's pretty much it. That was so cool. Sounder. That's a digital monitor. That's a terminal. Yeah. Or is it a monitor? I'm not sure. I just, <laughs> I'm an idiot when it comes to all this stuff. I'm well, you can tell it has RS-232 on it. No, it's a monitor. Oh, nice. It's that RG is so RGB. cool. <laughs> this is so cool. I might come back and probably get one of these other odd, like, ones that would match my original IBM PC, you know, because I have a, yeah. I think it's an XT or something like that, but it would, it would match it better than the monitor I have on get it. get those, but I don't have any now. Yeah. 
We get the original ones, but you know. I'm not too concerned with the original. Because, like, even, even back then, people wouldn't always have original stuff. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, people want the whole original piece, you know? Yeah. I kind of like it just, like, as you would normally find it. Well, I'll get out of you guys' way and let you, let you be. All right. Thank you very much yeah, for... Link. Yeah, thank you very much. Sure. Oh, my God, that was so fucking cool. Oh. Okay, there's still a store to look through, though. Microfilm scanner. Oh, my God. So much new stuff. Yeah. Have you already looked through all this stuff? Yeah, I thought I had myself a projector here. Oh? It's a video conferencing. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, but I was going to use it for... I'm looking for a projector to put on the front of my car. Oh. And then have my own drive through on Yeah. A, just park it on a building. Mm -hmm. Or park it in front of a big building. Yeah. Light it up at night. You got your... I uh, like that uh, idea. But I got to find a projector. So. Yeah. Um, if I see another one, would you want me to tell you about it? Yeah, can you help me with... Yeah, definitely. Oh, you see that you don't want it? Yeah, I don't want it. Okay, it goes right here, you said? Okay, cool. So, what we got? I'm looking for, um, so you know on the wheelchair how I pull out the circuit board? Yeah. And I'm looking for a um, method where I can plug it in plugs in and unplugs. Okay. And um, So whenever you pull out the board, it okay. unplugs from the motors. And I was thinking like these, uh, I like these because um, they're panel mount. Yeah. But where is the other end for this? Uh, that would be made for a cable to go into. A cable? Yeah. So but you could take this. Uh, fuck, I, don't yeah, know. I, know that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they got... Um, terminals on the back like this. No, they don't. Oh, weird. Look at that. I thought that was a robotic hand for me. Oh, that'd be so cool. It's pneumatic or something. What is that? I don't know. A bunch of pneumatic actuators. Can I see that? Hey, this is a big contactor. Oh, damn. <laughs> is that really? $20. Yeah. <laughs> Probably takes like 120 volts to actuate, though. <laughs> Oh, it can it can actuate up to seven kilovolts. Oh wow! Wow, that's uh, not what you're needing for your wheelchair. No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Unless you want to like zap people, that'd be cool. Yeah. What? What is that? Five dollars. It's five dollars. That's what it is. It's five dollars. Yeah, Data file. Oh, this might be an old hard drive. Portable parallel hard drive, data file, 120 megabytes. <laughs> yeah, those are still kind of big. But they are actually nice little cases. They are. I might see about, eh, I don't need any more tapes. I got enough shit. This is like an old school tape. <laughs> Boy. Ah, uh, man. Where the good old times come to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a film projector, I think. Weird. I'm not sure what that is. Nikon AF-X-2A. Those are some big fluorescent lights. Looks like one of those giant cartoony magnets. Yeah. Well, that's neat. See, people are probably going to get upset that I probably look at the exact same things every single time. <laughs> An old cassette player and recorder. Oh, it's the recorder too. Yeah. Oh, thermowatt, degrees centigrade. No. Oh, 
I was like that tablet thing. FTS system. Oh, it's Audrey, mother of Alexa and Siri. Oh. No, I'm fucking. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, you totally have me fooled there. Oh, this is some heavy-duty uh, RF line, yeah. probably for some like a uh, probably big antenna type yeah. thing. Oh. Whoa! That is so weird. I don't know. Maybe it's to reflect light. Oh yeah, maybe it is. I'm trying to think if I could use it on like a 16 millimeter projector somehow yeah, to do really something funky. To, like, try and use that to light. like maybe somehow mix multiple it could be like images. A, yeah, like a filter or Have or actually, I think you could maybe see about doing some like 3D glassesless display with this. Yeah. I'm not sure though. It's... Nevertheless, it's cool. <laughs> and for twenty dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. Like, I, don't, I don't think I really need it, but it's really cool. Ooh. <laughs> Having trouble? <laughs> there you go. Bring that down. I think it's like a, a hinge <laughs> thing. I know what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I was figuring it out as I, as I saw it. No, it's like for the drawers, you know, that's Yeah. Up. Western VHF sweep generator. I don't really know what it is. I guess it would just go through the frequencies or something. Yeah. That is so cool. It's missing a knob. Yeah. I like the design of, this, of the case, though. It's like a very, polygon, very poly polygonal letter. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm pretty much done, though. You done? Yeah. Cool. So I got to go in the back and talk to the owner and that was amazing. Got this cute little monitor and now we're probably going to go to Excess Solutions. That'll be another video. Actually, that'll probably be a Patreon video. Yeah. I'm looking at this cute little monitor. I can't believe they actually made this. Six inches wide and monochrome white. Not green or amber, but still pretty cool. Made in 1989 and takes VGA. I'm not sure which signal it takes, because it takes one channel. I'm not sure if it takes the R or the G or the B, but oh well. Or maybe it takes both and adds them together. I doubt that though. It's still kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait to test this, but I don't have the cable to test it here, so I'm just going to go ahead and mail it back home and then do some stuff with it, but it's just so tiny and cute. I love it. And then that one guy, who uh, I think his name is Jim, who like the guy I bumped into that turned out to be one of the owners, he let me dig through that that big box of heat sinks, and I found this stuff, and I paid like a dollar a piece for this, so it's not bad. This is part of a lens. Might be able to make some cool stuff with this. Oh, and I wasn't super frugal. I ended up paying $20 for this, but it's just, it's so tiny, and I don't know if I'd ever have a chance to buy another one, so I figured that was okay. Plus, I talked them down from like $35, so I think $20 was okay. It was probably as low as I was going to possibly get. I'm thinking I might want to make some interesting, like, goggle things out of this. Look like something like, almost like that one character from Star Wars that had like the very computerized voice. I don't know, something like that. But it looks, it'd be kind of cool to make goggles out of it, and you can still see through the slits. So it'd be kind of cool. Like, um... It could be straight, or it could be side. I don't know. That's so cool. Probably like that would be better. And then take this part and just cut into it so it can go through your, your nose, where, or where your nose is. That'd be so cool. And that was a really fun day. And it was my birthday too. It was either 
go around to all the junk stores with Professor X or spend Friday at Maker Fair. And honestly, I think I was, I'm, I'm very happy that I didn't go to Maker Fair on Friday. I'll be going tomorrow. Me and my mom will. She's actually arriving in like an hour or so. Her plane is landing and I'll go over to the airport and get her. But yeah, like that, that was so cool to get recognized that we're just at our house and then get to go back and see all that cool stuff. And then I had a nice long talk with the, I guess I'd call him a partial owner. I think his name's Jim. But yeah, like I recorded some of the talk, but it was like, we spent a good couple minutes, like maybe 10 or 15 minutes just talking about stuff. And it was, it was really fun. It was really cool to get, to like, to talk to him. I don't know. It was just, I was not expecting that. And then after that, like, me and Professor X also went to Excess Solutions and we didn't really get much. That's going to be a Patreon video, so I figure I gotta, I gotta keep putting something up on Patreon. But, um. I actually have a schedule for that. I, I put something up on Patreon every other week. It actually is like one of the only things that I have scheduled for my channel. But it's kind of interesting. So you'll probably see that in a month. But basically all I did was I got this book and a neat little old power supply. This one right here. I'm actually using it to charge up batteries for my... Um, Panasonic CFU ones. So I'm going to slowly go through all the batteries and charge those up. And this is not for the original IBM PC. This is for an IBM PC 80, which uh, I actually do not have and never seen one before. It's basically after the original IBM PC, so I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm more a fan of the XT. However, I definitely do think that this is cool. And I love the color of it. It's just so neat. I'm starting to get like a nice little library of computer books and especially old IBM books. Man, my first computer that I ever had, I had a bunch of books with it. Because my first computer I ever had was a Speary PC compatible with an Intel 8080. I remember I had floppy disks for it and a couple of those books. And I remember I had Zork on it. I had some some program I've been trying to find that was like a little plan, planetarium or something like that. It would draw planets. It was like very like like dot to dot drawing. But then you could like you could select like Pluto or something like that, and it would then draw like a, a rough like line drawing of of Pluto and then have like a little couple, a little bit of text with it. I can never seem to find that. And there's also some other games, like I remember this, there was this one game where it looks almost like the Mountain King on the Atari. So I'll look that up, that might actually be it. Yeah. Yeah, it looked almost like that game on the Atari 2600. Well, that's pretty much it. I have had a very good birthday, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.